Oh, it's two o'clock on Sunday, the last day of the stampede. And I'm doing Uber and Lyft. And so it's 2 p.m. I started around uh, 9.30 and had uh, so far only two rides with Uber, but five with Lyft. I, in the morning, I started them both and got the first bite, so to speak, was uh, Lyft. A couple was going from basically my area, uh, like Northeast Calgary, just one kilometer away from me. They were going 27 kilometers to pretty much downtown to church. So those must be real believers. 27 kilometers in a taxi guess how much lift paid me 16 bucks 16 bucks for 26 kilometers then because lift has that feature where they give you automatic rides you know when you drive like you i you can cancel that but it's actually pretty cool you know when yeah sorry i had to interrupt the video because i got another another ride for uber and let me see, Uber, just trying to catalog them, fishermen. Yeah, so Uber, no, Lyft, started with Lyft, right, where the, the dedicated uh, church goers hired me for $16 to go 27 kilometers. And then right after that, as I'm driving, it started beeping, another ride was added automatically right after that, and the guy canceled and he then he booked it again so he was in a rush to go to work to staples he uh, it was five dollars 25 cents and i only went uh, 1.43 kilometers and then after that again as i'm driving the guy to staples the lift adds another ride i like this feature you know it was a lady going 4.5 kilometers uh, for five dollars 41 cent no actually I got the lady first after the church guys and then I got the staples guy and then after that I got I sat for a few minutes and again it was Lyft even though I had Lyft and Uber um, I think it was uh, yeah number four was um, Lyft from Central Calgary to the airport it was a uh, three ladies three ladies lots of luggage so it was 36 kilometers but lift only paid me 23 dollars and then from the airport i sat there in the dedicated waiting spot probably an hour uh uber was too slow lift got me going uh 15 kilometers back to central calgary uh 11 dollars 70 cents and then actually the first ride of the day, I forgot to mention, was one of the three I did with Uber. So the first ride was um, was a shop owner. Like the lady was going to open her, sh you know, like a retail uh, convenience store in my area, in Northeast. And it was only three kilometers, but Uber paid $4.64. And then another Uber ride was somewhere in between the Lyft rides there. I think uh, when I came from the airport, no, uh, when I was downtown still, there was a, I rode down Cowboy because there was a guy in a jeans and jean shirt and cowboy hat. And uh, it was a guy and a girl and they were going from central Calgary, like three kilometers to um, Stampede. And it was $6.27, but it's three kilometers, right? And they gave me a $5 tip because I guess they were Americans because locals don't uh, wear uh, these cowboy hats here. During Stampede, it's only tourists. But Americans are always, uh, quite often, are good tippers, you know? And so what I see here, if, you, if you've been paying attention, that Uber is consistently uh, offering a better rate per kilometer or better rate per mile. 
It's basically, it's more than a dollar per kilometer, which is good. Uh, basically, it's what is it like? Dollar sixty per mile, right? Would be. And so I want to have like two dollars per per mile. But again, it's Canadian dollars, right? So it's in U.S. dollars. It's it's really depressing to talk. If I convert everything to U.S. dollars, let's say the worst the worst ride today probably was. Uh, probably those ladies that I took to the airport, 23 Canadian dollars for 36 kilometers. So 23 Canadian dollars, that's about probably 15 US and 36 kilometers, it's only 40 kilometers, which is like almost 25 miles. So basically 15 bucks for 23 miles. Not good. So, so that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that, yeah, lift is way is way cheaper but when customers ask me today uh, actually those guys that give me a tip the americans they were asking me which one i like because they see i have both stickers lyft and uber they said which one i like better i said i think for me uber is better it, it pays a bit better but i said for you for passengers i, I would say uh, call uber if you're in a rush because that guy was going to staples he used the uh, lift and he said he had to wait like after he canceled me he said and he thought he would find a quicker car the other one i was like 10 minutes away so he got he got me again so i was i was closer and and but lift is cheaper for passengers so that's what i'm i told these american guys i said uh, if you're in a rush and you're willing to pay a bit extra get uber because there's more cars but if you're going far you know let's say from one end of the city to another and you're willing to wait a little bit, but you want to save money, get Lyft. Because uh, fewer people use li uh, drivers have a Lyft license, right? So I have both. And so the last uh, ride actually with Uber that I just did, because I'm sitting in a park, it was interesting. Well, it's... Uh... 4.24, 24 minutes past four. Uh, I'm sitting at, uh, what is it, like 120 bucks? So made uh, $92 with Lyft, had uh, eight trips, and made $27 with Uber, made three trips. So 92 and eight is 100, 119. My last uh, ride was a uh, lift. Just, uh, you know, I stopped uh, to get some food, had some nice pulled chicken sandwich. Never tried it before. We have a nice uh, chicken place and they do all kinds of amazing things with chicken, you know, like grilled barbecued and stuff. And so I wanted a sandwich. I said, pulled chicken sandwich. I said, no dairy, no dairy, because I have an allergy. And that plus coleslaw plus a uh, can of Diet Pepsi was about 20 bucks. So, but you know, I think I, I work very hard every day driving for Uber and Lyft. And, uh, and so, yeah, I was sitting there and there was a pickup a kilometer away, less than a kilometer away. And the late, the whoever it was, like the name looked you know like a male and the guy says uh building behind the gold gym but the address was given for the gold gym you know like a fitness center there but i found it and i text back i say is it ems because it says ems basically station like ambulance right and the person says yes and i say okay i'm outside and then Two minutes later, a, a young black lady uh, jumps out and I look at the name. So I figure out that it's uh, actually a female name. And I start joking with her. I said, I said, do you drive an ambulance? And she got offended. So like I see her, no, I don't drive an ambulance. I work for Ministry of Health. And actually next to that sign was an EMS. The sign next to it said Ministry of Health. But I asked her, I said, is it EMS, right? When I, I was texting her, I said, is it EMS? She said, yes, but so she was silent. The trip was six kilometers and I only got paid six bucks. 
So a dollar per kilometer. Of course, no tip. So she was silent the entire road, the entire trip. And then at the end, when I brought her to her house, I said, have a good day. She said nothing. You know, normally people say you too, or you know, like, <laughs> so basically got pissed off at me for, uh, because I was joking about the ambulance driving. So what's wrong with driving an ambulance? I'm a driver, right? I drive for Uber and Lyft. And now actually I started because it seems slow. You know, Sunday is actually usually slow, but today is the last day of the stampede. So I'm guessing all the action is happening downtown now. Um, and I saw earlier today, there was a, there was like a lineup at the airport in the departure, departure lane. Because again, last day of the stampede. So all the tourists uh, were leaving, you know? And so there was lots of departures, right? I did what, tr uh, two, two trips to the airport? Yeah, I took one lady to Flair and then a bunch of ladies to, uh, they were flying back to British Columbia. So yeah, I had two trips to the airport and picked up one there and took them uh, to Central central uh, Calgary so yeah airport today is busy but I sat there for an hour and a half during lunchtime I don't want to go back there again so I thought maybe somebody from surrounding hotels will be needing a ride you know but all I found was this six dollars for six kilometers and not talking to me you know well so basically it's 4 30 now I think I'll just stay maybe another half an hour. If nothing happens, I'll go home. Watch some Netflix, relax. Uh, think about my bad behavior with passengers. Oh, and also in other news, um, I'm using a, I'm using a dash cam. Sorry. I'm using a dash cam called Viofo. Viofo. V awful. It's a nice little dash cam. So I just plugged it in here. And how I got it is because they sent it to me for free. You know, because I have a YouTube channel, right? So sometimes I do reviews, but I only try to do reviews of something that's related to topics on my channel, like, you know, trucks, cars, and of course, dash cams. That's a, a car accessory. And so they asked me to, they sent me an email that said, can you review one of our dash cams and, and basically they don't pay you but you get to keep the dash cam and so i got this one and before i had the same before i had the same brand but it was a very advanced uh, three camera uh setup you know it was like a big unit so there was uh two lenses so one lens was pointed forward another lens was pointing pointing at the driver and there was a third third little camera that you put on the rear you know window so which is excellent but then i think yeah it was in my previous uh i had what i had a dodge charger and i left it there i thought that would help with the you know resale value so i gave it to the dealer like that and so now these guys actually reached out they said hey sergey we have a our latest uh, uh development some kind of a new Sony sensor in there, but kind of like same idea, three cameras in one. And now since I drive for, you know, Lyft and Uber, I think it's great, you know, it just in case of some emergencies. So you have a recording of passengers, right? Of course you have to tell them that you're gonna be recording and, and uh, Uber send me a um, little sticker, says you may be recorded and you have to register the dash cam with, I already registered this one. So now I'm just waiting, uh, this VOFO lady is sending me that three piece uh, thing. I'm gonna do a review and then I'm gonna keep it. I might sell this one or, or, or something. But so I'll have three cameras. So again, so it records what's happening in the front of the car, in the back of the car through the rear view uh, camera and then it records the driver and the and the passengers, which is very helpful sometimes because let's say a cop stops you and says, hey, I, I saw you were using your phone, you know, and wants to give you a ticket. So you pull up the recording or you can actually play it right on the unit 
and it shows me and I was not talking on the phone, you know, or any kind of thing, you know, like, oh, you were not wearing your seatbelt. All right. So here's the video. I'm wearing my seatbelt, right? Because it, it would show, it would show on the camera. Man, my, uh, my, my arm looks awful. I, I, I had a incident uh, fell down on uh, asphalt, scratched really bad my elbow. So, but now it's, it was all swollen. It was super painful, but now it's uh, getting better because I use some bacterial cream and some toothpaste. Turns out toothpaste helps when you have a big bruise or big swelling. Thank you.